You are currently standing in the exact spot where Abraham Zapruder shot the infamous Zapruder film on November 22, 1963. By integrating historical footage with modern compositing software, you are about to be immersed in a historical event that took place over 50 years ago. Before we roll the film, let's point out something of great significance. The large eight-story building to your left is the Texas School Book Depository Building, where Lee Harvey Oswald allegedly assassinated John F. Kennedy. His exact location was the southeastern corner of the sixth floor. Unfortunately, a tree is somewhat blocking that exact location from where you're standing now. But given the nature of the assassination, perhaps this is appropriate. Let's roll the tape. Let's take a closer look at the scene of the crime. If the Warren Commission's report is correct, Oswald's first shot completely missed the motorcade, ricocheting off a tree and exploding near the bridge to your far left, allegedly hitting a bystander in the process. The second shot struck Kennedy near the spine and exited through his neck, hitting John Connolly in the back, ribs, wrist, and leg in the process. This was the magic bullet shot. The third shot entered the rear of the president's head and exited the right side. You are now standing in the exact spot where the third bullet struck the president's head. The distance between where you are standing and Oswald's sniping location is approximately 265 feet or 81 meters. As you can see, it is a fairly direct shot towards the sixth floor window especially if the driver is following the lines in the road. Let's watch the footage one more time with this new information in mind. I hope this video has given you a unique and informative glance into this important part of world history.